Grand Touring Motorsports started as a social group of car enthusiasts, but we've expanded into all sorts of motorsports disciplines, and we want to share our stories with you. Years of racing, wrenching, and motorsports experience brings together a top-notch collection of knowledge and information through our podcast, Break Fix. Can you imagine a world where, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines, doesn't have the same meaning as it used to? Many of our guests, when asked the pit stop question, what would be different once the evolution has taken hold, their overwhelming consensus is the lack of sound, which begs the question, what if there was no sound in racing? What attracted me to racing, one of the things, is the sound. The sound. I don't care if it's a Super at Oswego, a V12 Ferrari, something in between. It's the sound, and there is no sound with electric. Now, Von Donnelly's developing some electric sprint cars, I guess, to run at his new motorsports track up at Syracuse, and maybe that'll be cool. But again, if you take the sound away to me, you've taken away a very large portion of what it turns me on anyway. We're all learning in the tower now to go... <laughs> <laughs> The best sound I ever heard was up at Watkins Glen during the six hours in the Can-Am series where the two classes were allowed to race together. Porsche six cylinders, Ferrari V12s, big block Chevys, small block Chevys, all resonating off the trees coming into the boot section. It was like a symphony. I'll never forget it. One of the best things I've ever heard. In this special episode of Break Fix, we take you, the listener, on a journey through an entire race weekend at Road Atlanta and explore all the different ways that sound influences the race experience. The announcers will always be there. With the hustle and bustle of the paddock and pit boxes, with small engine generators, golf carts, and equipment always in the background, do you hear that low rumble of idling V8s? And what about that lap after lap buzz of the pack rushing by?
The storm is coming, and there is this crescendo before the start of any race. You don't just hear it, you feel it. And what of the distinct sound of the 911s during a cup race? crackle and pop of downshifts and unburnt fuel backfiring with exhaust notes trailing off in the distance. The sounds of preparation probably won't change, but what is there to warm up when electric motors are ready to go immediately?
excitement begins to mount as your favorite driver and their vehicle make their debut on pit road, heading out on the track for practice. You can almost single out each brand from Porsche to Corvette, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Mercedes, Cadillac, Acura, and everything in between. reverberation of engines at full song, flat plane crank V8s, turbo boxer sixes, high strung V10s, and monstrous ground thumping muscle motors, each with their own distinct pitch. What does the engine of the future sound like? Will you be able to tell them apart? something comforting about the racetrack. And after a long day, many of us sleep really, really well. But it's finally race day. And there's always this sobering quiet compared to the previous days. Less chaos as the teams and drivers are getting more serious in preparation for qualifying. Motul has brought a lubricant analysis machine, machine to the fan zone here at the 24th annual Motul Petit Le Mans to both help competitors cross the finish line and provide free oil analysis to racing fans. The Motul Racing Lab is a state-of-the-art mobile laboratory capable of analyzing the lubricants running in your engine. Now, what will these analyses bring to you? Well, this predictive tool will allow you to organize your vehicle's maintenance schedule. The Motul Racing Lab can also search for metal elements present in the lubricants to detect premature or accelerated engine wear, and thus know if it's necessary to carry out replacements of parts. It will analyze the composition of the lubricant in use to highlight any coolant leaks or fuel dilution that may damage the engine and limit its performance. With a free oil analysis from the Boat Tool Racing Lab in the fan zone, you can follow the evolution of these factors daily and recognize the development of lubricant agents and degradation due to extreme conditions of use. From the outside, Everybody seems to be scrambling to be the first ones out, the first ones with clear track, the first ones with clean air. The sound of the track has changed. You can hear it all around you. It's time for best and final laps.
teams frantically practice and repeat pit stops, refueling, as well as tire and driver changes. During the race, there's no second chances. Every second counts, and you have to be as close to perfect as possible. Staying in one place might give you the best vantage point for viewing the race, but does it evoke the same feeling? This next clip is taken from the Road Atlanta start-finish bridge as the cars pass underneath. It's intense, and more so when you're standing there as the sound of each car echoes through your chest. Multi-class GT and prototype racing is one of the few disciplines of motorsport where you can get up close and personal with the cars, the drivers, and the entire experience. It's not circus and pageantry from a distance. You are shoulder to shoulder with thousands of other petrol heads on grid before the start of the main event. There's always this constant hum and movement throughout the paddock, even during opening ceremonies. Maybe in the future, that background noise won't be there. Brothers and sisters, I love you today. Would you please just quiet your hearts and pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this glorious and beautiful day, sunshine, this awesome weather, and us all here together. Lord, I pray today on this Veterans uh, Weekend that you would bless and honor our veterans, that you would strengthen them, help them, give them everything that they need. 
thank you for their service, and may their families be encouraged. Today I pray that your glory would be here in this entire vicinity, that you would bless each and every team, each and every driver, every crew, and everyone here today. May your warrior and fighting angels surround and protect on every side, strengthen each driver to race their very best today. Let them feel the life of God at every turn. And we thank you and we praise you in the name of the Most High God. Thank you. Please welcome to perform today's French national anthem, Jeffrey Akana. And now, ladies and gentle listeners, it's time for what we've all been waiting for. All right, race fans, it is the final time we'll hear the four most famous words in motorsports. We'll welcome back our Grand Marshal, Joey Camarada, from Motul Technical Support, as he gives today's command. Drivers, start your engines. Welcome back in progress. A call from Gibson Radio with John Hindock, Jeremy Shaw, and Jay Adams. 
as the safety car pulls into the pits to release the anxious drivers. Just when you thought the noise around you was at its climax, it all seems to break loose. The race is on. Just 12 short hours to go until the checkered flag. Even as the sun sets and the temperatures drop, there is no shortage of fans watching, waiting, camping, and celebrating at nearly every corner of the track. The area between turns six and seven at Road Atlanta is a great place to be, but the sound is near deafening, albeit amazing, as the cars pour on the speed down the back straightaway.
Surrounded by darkness, the drivers soldier on, fighting for every second, every lap, every position. Oddly enough, the darker it gets, the louder the track seems to become. There is no sleep for the fans. The race is reaching its end, and you can hear the drivers pushing harder in those last moments. The engines straining, the brakes screeching, tires squealing, exhaust rumbling and popping. Take a moment and ask yourself, does this exist in the future? And just like that, it's all over almost as quickly as it began. A somber silence and calm has returned to the track. The results are in, and all that you hear now are the low mumbles and murmurs of fans making their way home from this spectacle of speed. And as we take a moment to reflect on this race, or any race you've been to, imagine a future where these sounds aren't part of the experience. Does that matter to you? How will it change the way you look at racing events in the future? Are you more or less likely to be there in person? Unfortunately, we don't know what the future holds, but we can hope that motorsports will continue to have a place in it. And as we've said before, there's a very good chance that the last petrol powered car to be driven will be a race car.
hope you enjoyed another awesome episode of Brake Fix Podcast, brought to you by Grand Tory Motorsports. If you'd like to be a guest on the show or get involved, be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Grand Touring Motorsports. And if you'd like to learn more about the content of this episode, be sure to check out the follow-on article at gtmotorsports.org. We remain a commercial-free and no annual fees organization through our sponsors, but also through the generous support of our fans, families, and friends through Patreon. For as little as $2.50 a month, you can get access to more behind-the-scenes action, additional pit stop minisodes, and other VIP goodies, as well as keeping our team of creators fed on their strict diet of Fig Newtons, Gumby Bears, and Monster. So consider signing up for Patreon today at www.patreon.com forward slash GT Motorsports. And remember, without you, none of this would be possible.